While the team at Codemasters focused on the off-road thrills of the Dirt Series, some fans eagerly passed rumors that the company would return to the circuits and street courses of their 2008 racer, Grid. That follow-up has finally come, taking you on a world tour to build an all-new racing league. But can Grid 2 live up to five years of expectations? Before we get on to the bulk of the review, let's shoot the elephant in the room. When Codemasters unveiled Grid 2, they announced the controversial decision to do away with the cockpit view, and it hasn't magically appeared in the final game. It's a trade-off that has likely allowed for numerous improvements, but there's no real way to calculate the benefits. For players used to sitting behind the wheel, the hood cam offers the same level of control, but it does lose a layer of immersion, especially when your hood gets ripped off to expose an engine that was clearly never meant for a close-up. If you haven't already rage quit, there's a diverse and challenging racer ahead of you. The context driving your progression is an imagined emerging sport known as World Series Racing, or WSR. You are its poster child, boosting its popularity and recruiting drivers from around the world. Between races, your rising status is noted with fan counters and shameless ego-boosting shots of viewers making forum threads about you. Even real-life ESPN broadcasters join the hype train as the fictional sport reaches a wider audience. World Series racing has defied initial skepticism. The opening three seasons focus on WSR gaining credibility across America, Europe, and Asia, requiring you to enter events from car clubs to bring in competitors, and promo events to gain fans. Plus, in each leg of the career, you can take on sponsor challenges that give you additional goals as you race. Some of the club names are rather on the nose as you compete in time attacks with Div Zero or Eliminator events with Eliminacion, but they serve as a good introduction to grids or varied event types. You'll rush against the ticking countdown of checkpoint races, rack up points in drift competitions, or you can get a satisfying early victory in a toge race if you can pull five seconds ahead of your sole competitor. The favorite of the bunch has to be the Overtaker events, which challenge you to thread the needle past a series of bulky trucks, building a combo by quickly weaving without making contact. Once you've gained enough popularity, you can move on to official WSR events, which up the stakes as both the difficulty and crowds rise. This transition is a little awkward, sending mixed messages as your coach urges you to move on while the game contradicts the advice with warnings against skipping races. However, don't worry too much, as there is a timeline option that lets you return to earlier events. Grid 2 features 14 unique locations, and it digs deep to get the most out of them. There are professional circuits such as Brands Hatch and Yaz Marina, street courses through Paris, Hong Kong, and Dubai, and cliffside point-to-point -point stretches through the California coast and the mountains of Japan. Most environments include roughly six routes, with more visual variety of via day and night settings, as well as increasing trackside fanfare as your career progresses. But the most interesting way Grid 2 keeps things fresh is with live routes. Available in specific events, the system provides an unpredictable series of turns through the winding city courses. It can be a little disorienting when a route wraps you back through a sector from a different angle, keeping you on your toes, unsure of what's coming next. Codemasters never takes the kitchen sink approach to car selection, but there's a reasonable variety with roughly 50 vehicles from muscle cars to hatchbacks and some real speed demons. You'll be able to drive them all in the career as they're handed out like candy, and the vehicle challenges you'll need to complete to gain some cars are just easy test drives. The online mode, however, is a completely separate animal. With only a handful of cars to get you started, you'll have to put in blood, sweat, tears, and motor oil to earn the rest, by gaining experience to unlock them, as well as in-game cash to actually purchase them. The online experience system doesn't baby you either. While some games may have you level up four times after one match, Grid 2 can take four or five races before you level up at all. This is taken a little overboard though, as you can't even transfer paint jobs from single player. You even have to unlock specific colors and use winnings to pay for every layer of paint you apply. Online is really where the game's variety comes through, as you can play for hours without repeating events. Without the ability to rewind, it becomes a true test of skill or a pure vision of carnage as player mistakes compound on top of each other. Thankfully, traffic light styled matchmaking indicators let you know who's more likely to bump into you or race clean. In addition to direct online play, weekly challenges offer tough benchmarks to attempt, and if you want to play on the couch, the split-screen mode runs admirably well. Like many Codemasters games, handling in Grid 2 feels great without easily falling into arcade or sim classifications. You'll need to have a keen eye on braking zones, but most cars are slippery enough to calculate drifts through the turns. You'll often trade paint to get your car bumped around too much and blowing out a tire or even totaling your car is a possibility. One thing Grid 2 has certainly gained from dirt is the amount of surface variation, and you can feel the difference as you transfer from brick to asphalt in Dubai or drive over vents in Chicago. 
AI drivers generally make for tough competition. However, at times, what counts for aggression seems more like they weren't aware that you were in their way, and it can be particularly frustrating if you get disqualified for making contact after another car sideswipes you. Another bad referee call fell in our favor as we were rewarded for making a clean lap even though we clearly bumped a few cars and went off track. Grid 2 is a beautiful game, and in particular, a lot of attention has been given to the settings with forests, skyscrapers, and even small weeds by the side of the road. The environmental lighting looks fantastic as shadows bend in the setting sun, although headlights don't cast shadows at night, and we could do without the dust on the camera. The audio package is equally strong with radio chatter distorting in tunnels and engine noises reflecting off cliff walls. While the visual impact of the PC version is clearly a step above, it's quite impressive just how much Codemasters continues to pull out of the aging consoles. Grid 2 has a handful of head-scratching design decisions, but it's a solid, varied, and challenging racer, set in strongly realized environments. Allow yourself to think outside of the cockpit, and you can't go wrong. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too.